Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a brand new video. Today you join me with some more news and information on Farming Simulator 22 and some more modders that have um, said some more stuff that they are doing for the game. So without further ado, let's get into some more news and information. Okay, guys, we have some news from Auction David. Now, he did this post a few, um, like, uh, I think, talking nearly a week ago now. But I have been needing to make a video on this. So, as you guys can see here, he has said this. I have been trying to improve my skills in Blender, ready to make map assets for my maps in Farming Simulator 22. So, what this means, guys, is pretty much, you know, uh, um, Auction David is making new things for um, the next uh, game of Farming Simulator 22. Also, we know that's going to be coming out on... Um, for, on quarter four of 2021 which is this year um coming to the end of this year anyway um so yes that is going to be a big thing and he look, look like he's making new buildings he's making a lot of new a um, lot of new things as you guys can see on screen now here are all the pictures of the um of um, what he's making on screen so as you guys, as you guys can see here he's, he's got a um he's got a building he's got um like some sort of building with like maybe like some shops or something there on like the corner you've got a little telephone box right next to that shop as well you've got some like houses at the top so it looks like, it looks like you've got shops at the bottom and then house at the top which you do see that quite a lot in the united kingdom um moving on to the next post um or the next page we have a house and this house um is actually quite a modern looking house it's got like really nice curved windows on the outside um and also i like the fact of how um it's i'm not sure if that's a garage or if that's like another entrance to the um in to the house but i like how the fact that has brick and then just like another layer of something on the top um he's put a lot of effort into making these and he's put a lot of detail into it as well and also as you can see as well on the on the shops uh, on the top of the shops you can see like 3d images coming in from the window which just looks which makes it look a lot more realistic it makes it look a lot more lively um and it just makes everything look a lot more nicer also moving on to the telephone boxes um it's as again it's all based in the United Kingdom, so he's based that all like you know in in Britain and everything. It all look. I don't really know what to say about that, um, but as again, he's put a lot of amazing um, effort into these, and it is looking absolutely amazing from Auction David. Okay, guys. So the next part of the news that we have today is a new farm that Auction David is currently working on. It is working progress. But it won't be out until Farming Simulator 22, which is going to be this coming year, which is in 2021, um, quarter four, obviously. Um, and it says this, Court Farm Country Park. Hi, and welcome to my new map project. This farm is set in Banwell, Western Supermare, UK. So, as again... A United Kingdom map that is going to be based in Western Supermare. Um, this map will be made and converted to Farm Sim 22 for PC and console. So that's a big part of the news and information there. As you can see, he said it already. He said that it's going to be PC and console for next game, for the next Farm Sim 22. So it won't be coming out until next year. Uh, no one knows when it's going to be when it's going to come out. No, no, not even Auction David knows because he's only just making it. He's only just working on making it. Um, but yeah, that's really, really good. That's coming out on PC and console. Um, so yeah, that's really, really good. Um, then he also put this. Um, this farm has lovely surroundings and is only a few miles away from the popular seaside. Everyone loves the seaside, right? Um, Resort or Western Supermare. As you can see from the picture, the area has many interesting areas with lots of small to medium-sized fields. Different farms, roads, areas you'll be able to visit in the map and it's perfect for an exciting farming simulator experience so what is auction david going for he's going for more realism he's going to go to so he's just going to go all out for it so it's like it's going to be probably one of the best maps as well as calmstead which i'm going to get to in just a second or so um so that's some more inf information record um, um you know into um this new map that's going to be bringing out for the next game okay guys so you're probably wondering wait a minute where on earth is Calm's Dead Farm. Why isn't it out yet? Well, it was actually meant to be out only a few weeks ago. However, that has been a slight delay and an issue. According to some people, um, the map has had to be re um, it's had to be delayed a little bit to be published, mainly because there has been the giant software have found a bug that is in with the game or, or in with the map that Auction David has to fix. Pretty much, what happens is is Auction David will send the file um, to Giant Software. Giant Software then go through testing to make the, they have like um, several things they have to test 
test with the map and if and if it doesn't you know if it doesn't work well we have to send it back to the mod maker so unfortunately it's going to be a bit more delayed uh, but hopefully it's going to be out very soon however auction david did mention that calm said farm isn't fully finished yet he said that he's still doing a little bit more texture work to the map so maybe he didn't actually send it to giant software i don't know that's what someone told me um but generally i don't know at the moment it looks like it's just not ready to be out yet um, obviously, if you saw the um, Calmston Farm teaser trailer, it looked pretty much finished. But clearly, there are just a few things Auction David wanted to do to make it, you know, even better than it is. So, yeah, unfortunately, no Calmston Farm for a while or so. Uh, probably not for another couple of weeks or even a month, unfortunately, guys. I'm sorry if you guys are waiting for Calmston Farm to come out. I'm waiting for it as well. I love the map. I love just love looking at the pictures of it. It looks absolutely beautiful. But unfortunately, we've got to wait a little bit more longer. So, yeah, but it will be coming out in the near future. Okay, guys, we have got some news on Peter 716 Farming Simulator. So this guy, I've only just realised him or recognised him only a few days ago. And he has made a new map called New Brook Farm. And to honestly view, I really like this farm. There's been a few bugs that he's just currently fixing for the game. And there is another map that he also has been working on, which has actually been out for three months now. But he's just fixing some bugs called Greenlands Farm. Now, you guys probably know what that farm is. I never really even knew what it is. I didn't know who it was made by until i found out today and i've only just installed it and i've had a look at it and i'm going to be doing some videos on that in the near future um hopefully coming out this week as well um uh, but yeah some more news regarding on him is the fact that he's doing some updates to um to um new book farm and is also doing some updates to greenland so um you know expect there to be updates coming out this week on um on that because there's going to be updates coming on greenlands and new book farm um so yeah but please guys go and go and check out his maps they're really really detailed you never know he could be the next auction david Okay, guys, so the next news that we have is by 4D Modding. Now, 4D Modding has been working on this project for quite a while now, and I think it is nearly ready to come out. So he has been working on some Dooley trailers. Now, they are Silas trailers, grain trailers, manure trailers, you name it. They are compatible for whatever you can put in them. So pretty much, guys, he hasn't really said a lot about them yet, but he is getting around to saying them very, very, very soon. Um, I think, to be honest with you, these will be out as, as soon as possible. Um, I'm pretty sure they have been finished. I'm not too sure yet, but as you can see on screen right now, here are what the Dooley trailers look like. So you have a mixture of different colours. You have yellow, blue, red, green, and a light blue as well, like a baby blue kind of colour, which is really nice. Um, so these will be all compatible for silage, manure, um, grain, whatever you what, what, even straw to put in straw in there, whatever you want to put in there, they will be compatible for. Um, so yeah, he's also put here Dooley 20 foot trailer update. Design configurations completed. Wheel options completed, added multiple new wheel options, colour options completed. So he has got a lot of new things, so you can change the colour of them, you can change configurations of them, you can change pretty much anything you want of them. Obviously, these would like just be a standard grain trailer, and then you can upgrade it and upgrade it to however you want it to be. Um, so yeah, that is some more news from 4D Modding. I'm not sure when these Dooley trailers are going to be coming out. I'm not sure if they're in testing it or if he hasn't even sent them to them yet. I do not know. But just so you guys know, that Dooley trailers will be coming out from 4D Modding. Okay, guys, I have just had a look at some more information as well with 4D modding. He's also put this, he's going to be saying, he's put that he's put dirt textures completed. Um, I completely forgot to even read all this bit. Door bang sound added, which is a big, big bonus. Now, if you guys don't know, in real life, when you when you see silaging in fields, um, when they empty the silage, um, when they empty the um, the trailer, like the, the um, obviously as it opens, the, like the um, the, the door is like flapping and sometimes it bangs against the trailer which makes a banging noise so absolutely superb he's adding in a banging sound effect which is very good and um various um strobe options added not quite sure what that means but we'll have to find out when it comes out but yeah anyway that is all the um all the news and inf information from 4d modding Okay, guys, and the last piece of news that we have today is from Steve Mods. Now, I am actually really excited for this, and I cannot wait until this map comes out. He is making a, another version, or a slightly different version, to Thornton Valley Farm, or Thornton Farm. He has put this. Hey, farmers, bit of news on Thornton Farm. I am hoping to upload the new map, Giants, this week. Oh, my gosh, he's actually, you know take uploading it to giants this week which is at, which is amazing um this map was given to me by auction david it was first released in fs15 then in fs17 and now fs19 um 
many 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 people loved this um, map back in the day including myself so huge thanks to oxy for giving me this map i really hope you all enjoy this map and yes it for all platforms as again another bonus so console and pc and mac and stadia it's all coming out for those platforms um also news to following um to follow soon on the next loved history um historic map um and that's pretty much always put so um I, there's no real pictures on screen at the moment as you can see um he hasn't he's only just really you know publish and just let us know what's going to be happening so really good news regarding to steve moz that he is going to be uploading the map to giants this week which is going to be very exciting so we don't obviously know if um if it will come out this week it'll probably come out next week in the holiday unfortunately i am not here on the holiday i'm actually on holiday with my family um so i will not be able to cover that but when i get home i'll be able to cover that asap for you guys do not worry um so yeah but that is pretty much all the news and information today Okay, guys, there we go. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If so, do drop a like and also subscribe if you're new around here. Really would appreciate it. Um, I've also got some more news and information of myself, of my channel, which I'll be explaining in another video or so. So stay tuned for that. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll catch you guys all in the next Farming Simulator 2019 live stream slash stream. See you guys very soon. Goodbye for now. Oh, yeah, and the video. Goodbye.